Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hugs. Mm -mm. I hope you are having a blessed and prosperous day. Before we get started with this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified of all of the beautiful content that I have coming for you. Let's hop right on into this video. I want to talk to you about three ways to have positive energy around you. The law of attraction style, honey. If you have not seen my last video, well, actually it's the video before the last video. It's entitled Law of Attraction, How I Manifested My Dream Job. Then you need to stop and go check that video out and then come back to this one. Make sure you give that one a thumbs up as well. But I am huge, guys, on the law of attraction. If you are a non-believer in the law of attraction, then you in the right place because I'm going to help you out. Because I was like, what is up with this law of attraction? But the more that I kept digging, the more I found out that it's working, things are happening. I am manifesting miracles. Things are falling. Favor is falling, honey. I am good and I am so grateful to God for allowing this to happen. If you have not checked out the book, The Secret, make sure you go read that book. If you are not a big reader and you just like the YouTube, then go on YouTube and, and um, type in The Secret and you'll be able to see what's going on with the law of attraction, how it all started. Again, and I will say this in all of my law of attraction videos, because that's just who I am and I love God. The law of attraction is nothing more than what's already in the Bible. Let's jump right into it. Three ways to have positive energy. Number one, you got to have good space, honey. You got to have good space. Space is the key. You got to have good space. Good space, good space. Okay, so what do you mean by good space, Remy? Let me tell you. All of that dingy and darkness and dark colors and dark lights and just want to sit in the corner rocking, you got to let that stuff go. Open up the blinds. Let some sunlight in. Have bright colors around you. Um, create your, your positive space. Anywhere that you dwell the most, like your home, your bedroom, even in your car, you want to make sure that it's clean, um, that you have just a good space. You don't want to be around clutter. You want to be able to relax your mind. And I'm going to jump in and just tell you guys a little nugget of a secret that I haven't told anybody. You guys are the first ones to know of. I actually only told three people. So when I say nobody, it's really three people. Um, I have been studying the law of attraction for over a year. In the mid part of last year, I was just freaking out. I was about to lose my mind. Nothing tragic had happened, but it just felt like the walls were just closing in on me and I was just losing it. And I remember creating positive vibes. I remember reading about the law of attraction and how it makes a difference in your life and how you need to raise your vibration. And I just remembered those things and those things came to my mind and it came on like a light bulb. And so I was able to get rid of all of those negative vibes. When I tell you it was bad and I'm not a depressed spirit, I'm not a depressed person, but honey, it had got bad and it only lasted for a day. Okay. It only lasted for a day. And I was like, uh, uh, no more. I got to create my positive space. You got to create a positive space. You have to be in a place where no negative vibes can be around you. And I'm not talking about people. Yes, people is number two, but we're talking about, about creating that space. You got to have a good space, a place where you can just stop and meditate, a place where you can just stop and think. Even if it's a bubble bath, there is nothing wrong with me time, especially those mamas out there and those hardworking dads out there. There's nothing wrong with taking some me time. You have to create that positive space. I light a candle. I, t I go for a long bubble bath. I am big on meditation, which will be in my next video. I'm going to talk to you about meditation. I am just big on creating that space. So you have to have a good space. Tip number two, okay? Get rid of the negative Nancys and the Debbie Downers. No offense if your name is Debbie. No offense if your name is Nancy. But I've got to tell you, you got to let go of all of those people, honey. They don't mean you no good. Now, I'm a person, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt, even if you showed me yourself. No more. Mm -mm. Like they say, once somebody show you who they are, you need to believe it. And honey, I believe it. And I want it positive 
and peaceful space. So I had to let all of those people go. I had to let them go. I had to let them go. I had to let them go. You know, it was hard. You're going to mourn some of those friendships. You're going to mourn some of those relationships, but you have to let it go in order for you to be the best you that you can be. You can't be the best you that you can be if you got negative Nancy's. If somebody is always negative, they're always gossiping, they're always talking about people, they're always, uh, it's just something about them. And they don't even have to be doing those things, but you know it's just something that just don't gel well with your spirit. Cut them out. They can't be in your space because it's not allowing your space to be positive. If you really want to see things manifest in your life, you got to create a positive space, okay? So you got to get rid of all of those negative people and those negative things. If it's something that, that's negative in your life, that's not even a person, if you like addicted to stuff like smoking weed every day and you got to have a drink every single day of your life, then that's not good. You can have a sip or two every now and then and do what you do. But if you are codependent on something, then honey, mm -mm, you're going to have to let that stuff go. All of these things that create negativity. If you're talking to somebody every day, let it go. Even if it comes to jobs, that'll be another video as well. Let all of the negativity go. Create you a positive space, okay? Tip number three, okay? Get your prayer life up, honey. Like I said, I believe in God and I believe in the law of attraction and the law of attraction would not be possible if it was not for God, okay? So you need to get your prayer, prayer life up so that you can get your mind right. You know those old time Bible folks, you know, grandma and great grandma of them used to say, um, I thank God for keeping me in my right mind. That's some real stuff. And it's a part of the law of attraction. You got to have the right mindset. You have to think on those things, okay? Think on those things as if they were. Speak on those things as if it's already happened. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. But it all starts in your mind. If you don't have your mind right, then it cannot translate into your tongue. Therefore, you cannot speak it. Therefore, you cannot think it. Therefore, you cannot believe it. That is what the law of attraction is about. So pray and just ask God to send you positive energy. Ask him to send you positivity all around you. Ask him to remove all the negative energy. And when you pray and ask God for it, believe that it's going to happen. That's all the law of attraction is. Ask and believe. Ask and believe, ask and believe, ask and believe. And then the last one is you will receive. So make sure that you create a positive space. Tip number one, let go of all the negative things and the negative people. That's tip number two. Tip number three, activate that prayer life because God is over everything, you know, and he is going to be the source of your strength. He is going to be the person that is, um, you know, pushing you to be great, pushing you to have positive energy. Okay. So that's my three tips on uh, positive energy, creating positive vibrations around you. I will talk more and more and more about the law of attraction. I love it. I've been studying, I've been digging deep and I have so many testimonies that I want to share with you throughout this year. Um, if you want to hear more about the law of attraction, let your girl know, leave a comment. Let me know what topic that you want me to talk about. And I'll talk about it and share with you. I'm an open book. I love you guys. Do not forget to like, thumbs up this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Love ya. Mwah!